Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Command Creativity and welcome back to the Sales series. Now, social media plays a vital part of any business operation, whether you're promoting or selling your product. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to sell our products through Facebook. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's log into our sales dashboard here and connect our sales store to our Facebook page. Now, what you wanna do is underneath this channels section, you'll see the Facebook tab. Now click on that and you'll be brought to this page where you can start selling on Facebook in a couple of clicks. Now, all you have to do is tap on this blue Facebook connect button and you'll be redirected to facebook.com where you'll want to log into your account where you wanna connect your sales store to your own Facebook page. So make sure you're logging in to the account where your Facebook page is, where you want your sales store. So log into that and just follow the series of steps. Now, if you do have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below or simply reach out to sales by tapping this purple button at the bottom right hand side in live chat with someone from their support team. Now I can't do this since this is a demo store, but like I said, if you have any questions, let me know or let someone from sales know by live chatting with somebody from their team. Now, I do wanna show you though, how this works on the command creativity side on my Facebook page where I connected my sales store up to our Facebook page. So tap on the shop here. You can do this on your own and follow along on our Facebook page. Give it a like while you're at it too. <laughs> so you can see all of the downloads here and you can customize various settings when you go through that setup process with Facebook. Now, I'm not logged in, not now. <laughs> and uh, let's try to purchase something from my store. Most of my products are free, but I do have this one service. So let's click on the custom intro design and we'll be brought to this page right here where we can see a similar setup to how our sales store works, but with the Facebook design and layout. Now we can see the product details right here, but we can also click on this button where it says check out on website. So this is how your Facebook store with sales is going to operate very similar to how mine does. So click on that button just to try it out. And you'll see this item that you clicked on on our Facebook page will populate in the cart of your sales store. So it works very seamlessly from the Facebook end all on over to our sales store end. So it's very easy and it's simple to check out and browse more products and see the website as well from the Facebook page to your sales store. Now, there are a couple other things that I want to talk about in this video, and one of them is custom domain names. So hop on over to the store tab under channels and pop on over to settings, and then you want to click on the domain tab. And under here, click on manage, and we'll see we have a couple options here. Let's first customize our sales domain. So what you want to do when you're on this page, where we go to free sales domain and click next, we can customize that sales domain. So what I'd probably do is photofocus.sales.com. So feel free to do that for your own store. And then what I'd recommend to do is purchase your own custom domain so that that lines up with your own creative goals and how you wanna brand your business. So you can either purchase a domain right from sales here where you can click next, and then you'd have to buy a domain from Google domains and then link it up. Um, but you could also purchase a domain from a third party and tie it into your sales account. That's very similar to Google domains, but with a existing domain that you'd purchase from someone else. Now I do have a recommendation of where you can purchase a domain from. Feel free to check domains based on pricing or where you can find a nice domain for your own business. But I'd recommend to check out Squarespace in addition to Google domains, whatever works best for you. I just have happened to use Squarespace before and I really like what they do. And the domain and the account are both very easy to use. So to claim your domain, I'll drop a link for Squarespace below where you can find your domain. But I'm just gonna type in photo focus and these are all the domains that I could purchase. The nice thing about Squarespace is their pricing is very transparent. So whatever you see for this pricing is what you're gonna pay. 
So let's say I want to buy one of these domains like photofocus.site or photofocus.online. All you'd have to do is tap on this cart button and it'll be added and you can continue to check out. So it's very easy with Squarespace and to link it up to cells is very simple. You can follow along and I'll drop a link for an article down below that you can follow along with. Feel free to let me know or get in contact with somebody over at cells using the easy to use live chat feature. So feel free to do either method. Now, there's so much more I could talk about regarding cells that it would take a long time to cover it all, but I just chose some of the highlighted features that I think would help you build an online store from the ground up. Now, again, let me know or let somebody know from cells if you do have any questions, and I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching this series and I hope you learned a ton. Now, down below in the comment section, let me know if you have any key takeaways from this series or what you learned. Also, if you do create a store, link that below in the comment section because I'd love to see it. Now, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.